sa 4H, 4H, 4H Cup Mag-aral na gawain ang hatid sa inyo ng 4H, 4H, 4H Cup Ako, ikaw, sila tayo sa 4H Cup nila Agriculture is dying, not because of drought, but because of this. The average age of Filipino farmers at present is from 57 to 59 years old. This means that in a few years, they will reach their retirement age. But can any one of you say, Agriculture will be our life? None. Why? First, because agriculture in the Philippines was stuck in the traditional way. Second, fertilizers, pesticides, and seeds are too expensive. Lack of protection from the man who buys their crops at a very low price. Farmers will now give in due to extreme poverty, which is the third reason. They will buy the palay for 15 pesos per kilo and they will sell it 40 pesos in the market. They will earn a gross of 104,000 pesos from every 4 metric tons of palay the farmers produce. And because the next generation of farmers is witnessing how difficult a farmer's life is, they choose to leave and pursue their own careers. Sadly, most of them would rather work at manufacturing companies, fast food chains, or other industries than to stay in farmland, which most of the time is not theirs. But fortunately, I discovered a club. A club that focuses on reviving and strengthening agriculture through youth empowerment and development. It's 4-H Club! Not as famous as Boy Scout or Girl Scout 2. This club has existed for seven years in the Philippines. And all over the years were dedicated in empowering youth. They provide the youth opportunities to learn by doing through individual, group, and community projects. This man, who was one of the beneficiaries of Young Filipino Farm Leaders Training Program in Japan. Another, they instill in the youth the spirit of volunteerism, cooperation, and dignity of labor. Enables the youth to use their time, talents, and energies wisely. Like this fun-making workshop. The club also develops youth's potential like Nomar Mortega, who was a 2016 Gawad Saka Regional Winner and 2018 Two Farm Champion just because of his love and dedication in agriculture, which in turn helped him graduate college. I have witnessed these milestones in the lives of the youth. I am proud that their lives have changed. And they too, as 4-Hers, change lives of others. You too can be a part of 4-H Club. You too can be a part of bringing innovation and development to our agriculture. At the end of the day, we hope to lower down the average age of farmers in the Philippines by including ourselves with them. I am a proud member and we will not say after is our life because culture is the reason why there is life. So for each club, we are
Sama ka sa bawat kilos at saya Isang samang ngari tagumpay Sa loob ng paralan at lipunan Tara sa manat sumali ka Ang 4H, 4H, 4H club Mga aral at gawain ng hatid sa inyo Ng 4H, 4H, 4H club Ko ikaw sila tayo sa Porish Club Pilar Ano ba ang STE program at bakit ito ang dapat mong piliin? Curious ka ba sa mga bagay-bagay na nangyayari sa paligid mo? Gaya ng kung paano nangyayari ang eclipse. Bakit nakakalipad ang eroplano? Ano ba ang virus? May chemicals ba ang gamit mong sabon at shampoo? Pinangarap na din bang maging inventor o kaya naman makagawa ng sariling robot? Mahilig ka ba sa computer at iba pang technologies? Namamangha ka din kapag nakakakita ka ng gaganda at matataas na building? O kaya naman mahahabang tulay? Kung oo, STE program ang nababagay sa iyo. Dahil ang lahat ng ito ay iilan lamang sa mga bagay na may kinalaman sa science, technology, at engineering. Ang STE o Science, Technology, and Engineering ay isang special curricular program na naglalayon na makapagbigay ng maganda at kalidad na edukasyon sa mga estudyanteng magaling at interesado sa larangan ng Science, Technology, at Mathematics. Ito ay magbibigay din ng malawak na oportunidad para matahak ang karir o profesyon na nasa hanay nito. Ang tanong, ano bang gusto mong maging paglaki mo? Gusto mo bang maging doktor? Nurse? Scientist? Dentist? Ophthalmologist? O kaya naman, psychiatrist? Teacher? Software developer? IT manager? Computer analyst? Civil engineer? Electrical Engineer o Computer Engineer. Kung isa sa mga yan ang pangarap mo, sa STE program ka ng Pilar National Comprehensive High School, dapat mag-enroll. Narito ang iba pang career na pwede mong tahakin kung ikaw ay nakapagtapos ng STE program sa Junior High School at STEM sa Senior High School. Mag-enroll. Sundin lamang ang mga sumusunod na hakbang. Unang hakbang. Punan at sagutan ang student profile and survey questionnaire form. Humingi ng kopya ng nasabing form sa iyong skwelahan sa elementarya o kaya naman, i-download ito sa link na makikita niyo sa baba. Pangalawang hakbang. Mag-request sa iyong grade 6 advisor ng kopya ng iyong Form 137. Pangatlong hakbang. Ilagay sa loob ng long brown envelope ang student profile and survey questionnaire form at ang kopya ng iyong Form 137. Isumiti ito sa Pilar National Comprehensive High School at hanapin lamang si Ms. Marigel Geografo o kaya si Mrs. Maria Reina M. Marco. 
Ano ang mga advantages kapag nag-enroll ka sa STE? Become research ready. Dito sa STE, grade 7 pa lang ay i-introduce at sasanayin na kayo sa pananaliksik ko research. Kung kaya't, mas magiging handa ka na sa mas complex na research pagdating mo sa senior high school STEM. STE Activities Sa STE, hindi ka lang matututo, mag enjoy ka pa. Narito ang ilang nasabing activities, Science Exhibit and Community Fair. Naganap noong February 27, 2020, na nilahukan ng mga incoming grade 7 STE students. Division Science and Technology Fair 2021. Ito ay naganap lamang noong May 2021. This is your physics mate, Liza Manuel. Nanalo ng fourth placer ang pambato ng Pilar National Comprehensive High School na si Liza Baniel ng Grade 7 Region sa CNC Kula Contest. Ano pa ang hinihintay mo? Magparegister na at mag-enroll sa STE program ng Pilar National Comprehensive High School. Dahil sa PNCHS STE, we will shape you for a brighter future. This is your physics mate, Liza Manuel, introducing a physics concept in line with electromagnetism. We will talk about Coulomb's Law, but first, let us meet the person behind it. Charles Agustin de Coulomb was a French military engineer and physicist. He is best known as the eponymous discoverer of what is now called Coulomb's Law, the description of the electrostatic force of attraction and repulsion. But you're here to learn about the law. Coulomb's law is one of the basic ideas in electricity and physics. The law looks at the forces created between two charged objects. As distance increases, the forces and electric fields decreases. Think about a few concepts. When we have plane magnet, you notice that there are two poles, the north and south. North and South Poles like to move towards to each other. Similar poles such as two South or two North push away from each other. With this scenario, we have understood that forces between magnets become stronger as they move apart. Another is when you yell at someone from far away and they would barely hear you. But if you yell the same amount when you were together, it would be more powerful and loud. This idea was converted into this formula where Let's try to solve this word problem using the formula of Coulomb's law. First, let us identify the given values where Now, by substituting the values and solving for F, we get Performing the operations, the Coulomb's force is 40 Newton. Good job! Let us meet again on our next CNC Kula. Bye! Plastic waste and agricultural waste are one of the most existing problems in the community. Also, as for now, the natural resources used to build houses are rapidly vanishing and affecting our environment. On the other hand, brick is one of the most common masonry waste used as a building material. Due to the demand, many families were unable to provide and construct stronger house walls that will protect them during natural catastrophes. The cost of concrete materials is the primary reason why many families in Pilar choose to build native dwellings rather than concrete houses. As a result, houses are easily damaged during typhoons 
and might create insufficiency in the availability of natural resources. This reality motivated researchers to take up an initiative that repurposes plastic and agricultural waste to construct an interlocking agroplastant bricks with crack detection system. Interlocking agroplastant bricks are made of plastic waste and agro waste, along with sand, heated, molded into unlocking form, and then compressed into bricks. In order to ensure end user safety, researchers opted to include a crack detection system. The system will be attached per bricks area and will immediately detect an alarm in the presence of crack that might be caused by a natural event. Interlocking agroplastant bricks, the crack detection system is the most effective economical solution to provide boundaries, an alternative to bricks at lower cost, and it is an environmental friendly and economical solution to dispose of natural resources and other ecofishes in source of We are the researcher Lian May Malate, Extra Quintanilla, Mary Jean Marbella, Lindy Malihana. Grade 12 stand student with interlocking agroplastic crop break. protection system. commercial fertilizer, why don't we use cow manure? Cow manure has so many benefits in farming. It is an organic fertilizer that contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and other nutrients that plants need to grow. Today, we're going to share with you how, how to use cow manure, manure as an organic fertilizer. Okay, we are now looking for a cow manure. Ayun! And by the way guys, if you have a source of fresh manure, don't hesitate to use this nutrient-rich material in your garden. Manure contains many useful recyclable components, including nutrients, organic matter, solid energy, and fiber. With today's science and technology, we can use manure more efficiently and in more ways than ever. These techniques can protect water and air quality and reduce greenhouse gases. So here's how we apply the cow manure to the plant. First is to loosen the soil around the plant using a cultivator or a trowel or any other thing cultivating tools that you have in your home. Second is to apply the cow manure by to water the plants after applying the manure to mix it properly to the soil. And yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching. Good day everyone! Have you all ever tried lifting a tray using a glass without dropping it? Well, if your answer is no, Allow me and my team to demonstrate and explain to you how it is possible. But first, I'd like you to know that this activity is a great way to reveal how air pressure differences cooperate. This is what we call glass tenacious, an air pressure experiment. The materials are so easy to find at your home. All we need are lighter, candle, paper, water tray, and of course, glasses. We have to wet first the paper and place it flat inside the tray. Put the lit candle in the middle and cover it with the glass. The lit candle inside the box is the cause of all this experiment. As it burns, it uses a made of oxygen. The flame from the candle quickly heats up the air in the glass. In this experiment, the air pushing up from underneath the paper is strong enough to overcome the weight. And voila! Magic! We can now lift a tray using a glass without wrapping it. Are you now curious about how does it work? How? How? 
How? The lit candle inside the glass is the cause of all this excitement. As it burns, it uses a little of oxygen, of course, but more importantly, the heat generated by the flame causes the air inside the glass to start moving very fast to quickly expand and to leave the glass. With less air inside, the pressure in the glass drops. With the glass upside down, the wet paper, you probably saw bubbles at places around the rim of the outside. That was expanding heated air escaping the glass. And that's it. I am Ephraim Guillen Emanuel, Brian Morris, Jericho Perez. I'm like us, can you? Great one stands to him. Good day everyone! Today we will discuss about earth science and its branches. By the way, I am Ezra James Reyes, a STEM 11 student. I am Giancarlo Lisai from STEM 11 and today I will show you the objectives for this topic where we are going to define and describe earth science as a general field with many branches. So let's now talk about earth science. Earth science is made of many branches of knowledge concerning all aspects of the earth system. The main branches are geology, meteorology, oceanography, and environmental science. Astronomy uses principles understood from earth to learn about the solar system, galaxy, and universe. So there are four basic areas of earth science study which are astronomy, meteorology, geology, and oceanography. So let's come now to astronomy. Astronomy is the science of the universe. Astronomy is the study of the universe that's beyond our own planet's atmosphere. Astronomers are interested in outer space and the physical bodies beyond the Earth. Meteorology includes the study of weather patterns. Using modern technology such as satellites, meteorologists are getting more accurate at forecasting the weather all the time. Geology is the study of the Earth's solid material and structures and the process that create them. Some ideas geologists might consider include how rocks and landforms are created or the composition of rocks, minerals, or various landforms. Oceanography. The study of water and its movements, distribution, and quality is hydrology. Oceanography is more than just the hydrology of the oceans. It is important for everyone to learn how earth and systems work. Earth science knowledge is the only tool to ensure public understanding of earth and each delicate balance of system. One of the primary problems that the world faces in this time of pandemic. It is associated with anxiety, depression, high blood pressure, heart disease, disordered eating, irritability, decreased academic performance, and decreased life satisfaction. Development of lemongrass and bupogam citratus and jasmine as aromatherapy would be a great help to address this problem. This study aims to help people less under stress. We came up with this idea considering our current situation. All of us have been working hard to bring our So this oil perfume can perfectly help to relax and explain how to turn this product to your body. Lemon and coconut oil. Preparation of all ingredients Cleaning up of lemongrass, cutting aloe vera and ginger, and tearing up some pagita Making oil from coconut milk Mixture of all ingredients, putting in a bowl and steaming boiling water Wait for 30 minutes to 1 hour until all the ingredients are ready.
What we have seen a while ago were the achievements and journey of the 4-H club, Pilar and CH chapter in the years of service. We have also seen the division fourth placer in CNC Pila, Liza Banya. Congrats, Liza. We have also seen more creative and amazing outputs from grade 11 and 12 class students, and we were able to learn from them. Great, right? So at this moment, we shall now begin the program. But first, kindly put your names, group level, and grade level for the attendance. According to Tim Minchin, science is simply the word we use to describe a method of organizing our curiosity. Indeed, through science, scientists have been able to discover essential knowledge out of their curiosity that is beneficial to our daily living. STEM is an interdisciplinary approach of learning involving science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It offers an interdisciplinary model based on inclusivity, integration, assessment, and delivery of useful skills. Truly, STEM engages us to create, innovate, and develop useful things for the betterment of the community. A blessed morning to everyone. I am Princess J.D. Balding. I am Joanna Marie Mojica. And, and we are your today's hosts for this virtual webinar workshop entitled Writing Scientific Research Paper with the theme Empowering Pilar National Comprehensive High School Students Towards Higher STEM Literacy, Research, and Innovation. May we all stand as we start this webinar with the Philippine National Anthem, followed by the PNCHS hymn.
And now, may we all close our eyes and feel the presence of God for the opening prayer to be led by Mr. John Ray Jossos. For the opening prayer, let us bow our heads and pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us. We are truly grateful for them. Thank you for allowing us today to meet and share our knowledge and time with one another in this webinar. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speaker so that he would be able to impart effectively his God-given knowledge to all of us. May he be blessed as he continues to bring his expertise to people who need them. Bless the participants as well so that they would be able to glean the vital information from this activity. May you bestow your blessings after this webinar so that we may go out and spread what we learned. In the spirit of your love and generosity, may we realize that this activity should glorify your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we start, let us hear first the message of our ever diligent and lovely assistant principal to Mrs. Maria Luisa Arevalo for her opening remarks. Hello everyone, the 4-H club in our National Comprehensive High School is back in action and I would like to invite the students to join in the set webinar entitled Writing Scientific Research Paper. For today's, the first day, we will be talking about how to write this paper and the second day about how to defend and I'm sure your eyes will be enriched in a fundamental knowledge of the set topic. Thank you and welcome. Thank you, Mom Luisa, for the warm greetings. And now, let us also welcome our ever supportive school principal to Sir Amadeo Laguda for his inspirational message. Uh, just Marayna Aldao sa Intukabos. I'm glad and thankful to all the participants uh, sa webinar na ito and uh, to all the for its club officers and members that, that hold this acti activity. Uh, this webinar on writing scientific research paper with the theme empowering the Pilar National Comprehensive High School students towards uh, higher science, technology, engineering, and mathematics uh, literacy research and innovation with embody uh, knowledge and fundamentals idea that uh, you as a student, uh, researchers and innovators can use to optimize your research. At higit sa lahat uh, to our speakers in this uh, webinar, Bilang uh, uh, school head ng Pilar National Comprehensive High School, ako po ay taos pusong nagpapaabot ng aking uh, lubos na pagpapa uh, salamat sa aming uh, guest speaker na makapagbigay ng kanyang uh, higit na kalaman sa mga mag-aral and most especially sa lahat ng mga uh, science na technology, engineering and mathematics students of our school that will um, help them uh, to prepare for their future as uh, research uh, innovators of our uh, a school, community, and our uh, a nation in general. 
Diyos mabalos sa Indo Gabos. Thank you, Sir Amadeo, for the very meaningful and inspiring message. Indeed. But before we proceed with the discussion, let us welcome Ms. Marjorie Malihana for the presentation of participants to be followed by Ms. Gwen Mariz Maria for the webinar rules that we have to keep in mind before, during, and after the session. Welcome to the first part of the virtual seminar workshop about writing scientific research paper with the theme Empowering Pilar National Comprehensive High School Students Towards STEM Literacy, Research, and Innovation. Let us acknowledge the participants of today's event, starting from the Honorable Speaker, Mr. Earl R. Kalingasyon from Ligao National High School, Jameson M. Miranda from De La Salle University Integrated School, Senior High School to give a keynote speech. Also, welcome to the grade 11 and grade 12 STEM students and ST students to their active participation. I hope that you will gain valuable knowledge and upskillings from the experts of today's event. Thank you and have a good day. Good day, everyone. I am Gwen Marie Smalia, and I will present to you our important webinar rules. The following webinar rules is to make sure that it will be easy for everyone to focus and engage with the topic and get the most knowledge out of it. The webinar rules are the following. First, make sure to have stable internet connection. To avoid missing important parts of the event, Make sure to have a stable internet connection before attending the virtual seminar. Second, put your phone on mute when necessary to prevent unwanted background noise from distracting the hosts or speakers and the other participants on the webinar. Make sure to put your phone or any gadgets that you're using on mute unless there's a need for you to speak. Third, always be respectful. Avoid promoting any personal service or product during the webinar. Or encouraged to actively participate and you are supposed to only share and ask topic-related informations. Never disregard other participants' opinions just because you don't agree with their sentiments. And always wait for your turn to share and ask questions. Fourth, take note necessary informations. To remember the key points from the webinar, which you think is important and will be at your advantage, it is best to take note. And lastly, provide feedback. To help the host know how the webinar turned out from the audience's perspective and to help them choose suggestions on what and where to improve for future webinars. You can also share your thoughts on, the, on topics that you'd look forward to being discussed next. Make sure to follow these rules and have the best webinar experience with us. Enjoy and good luck. May you learn a lot about writing a scientific research paper. Thank you, ladies. We can finally start the discussion. But first, we would like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to those who are virtually with us today via Zoom and YouTube Live, most especially to our dear speakers for today's webinar. And with that, let us welcome Mr. Neil Justin Ascanio to introduce to us the keynote speaker. Today, I'm excited to introduce our keynote speaker, Sir Jason M. Miranda. Sir Jason M. Miranda was born in Katamlangan, Pilar, Sorsuga. He is a full-time faculty member of the De La Salle University Integrated School Senior High School. 
For 8 years, he has handled multi-level groups of learners, both from junior and senior high school. Currently, he is working his thesis in bilingualism to finish his Master of Arts in English Language Education at the La Salle University, Manila. His research interest includes the language of media, politics, and pop culture, as well as critical pedagogy. During his spare time, he enjoys watching K-dramas and writing poetry in English, Filipino, and his vernacular. Thank you, Neil. And now, let us give a big round of applause to our keynote speaker, Mr. Jameson M. Miranda. All right. Thank you very much for that generous introduction. Nagbigla ako sa picture ko. Okay. Um, could, could I screen share? Good morning, everyone. Again. All right. See ya. Okay, later. Um, thank you very much, uh, our dear hosts. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, to all our STEAM administrators present in this event, our beloved teachers, students, a pleasant and blessed morning to all of you. You know, it's been quite a long time when I delivered a talk before a Pilareño audience. The last time was when I was invited as a guest speaker in the graduation of, a, of my youngest sister at her school, which is my alma mater also, the Abukai National High School. Uh, probably some of you or many of you are already familiar with the school. So to be speaking with you all is such a refreshing and an important experience for me. Uh, Pilar National Comprehensive High School. I, I'd like to to give a little bit a, a little bit of background. No, uh, Pilar National Comprehensive High School is actually close to my heart. Apart from this, was the usual venue. Uh, when I was in high school of varied competitions where I both won and lost, this school was also nurtured by one of my favorite aunts as she performed her duties as principal. So, naging principal si Tita sa Pilar National High School, uh, Pilar National Comprehensive High School. So, si uh, Madam Datar, Evangeline Datar. Okay, so my father also worked there as one of the safety and security personnel, and I have a few college classmates and friends there. Okay, recording stop. Salchel, uh, si Miss uh, Geographo mga kaibigan ko yan, kaklasiko. And then, uh, so PNHS is but a part of my personal dream of seeing it succeed and prosper as an excellent top-notch educational learning institution Recording not just in, in progress. Pilar or in the region, but in the whole nation as well. So I was uh, uh, viewing some of the advertisements uh, before the uh, actual webinar started. No? And uh, um, I, I'm, I'm actually proud as a Pilareño okay, to, to have seen um, achievements yung nanalo sa isang national contest. No? Nakaka-proud. Nakaka-proud talaga. Uh, Sir Luel Sulayao, my dear friend in college, who is now a master teacher in the Department of Education, assigned me to deliver a keynote speech today before senior high school STEM students. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I am not a STEM person since my training and orientation are on social sciences and humanities, specifically linguistics. But I believe and I hope that I can uh, inspire you even a bit to embark on the challenging yet rewarding research odyssey or journey. Okay, so allow me to screen share my um, my PowerPoint presentation. I have here a very uh, short PowerPoint presentation. Okay, mga 100 slides lang naman. Okay, so <laughs> joke lang. Okay, but by the way, ha, if you can turn on your cameras, I will really appreciate it. Okay, um, but if the internet connectivity, uh, hi, Sir Shaltiel, and yung pasi Sir Shaltiel, hello. Um, you, uh, I will really appreciate it if you can turn on your camera. Okay, but if the internet connectivity will not permitted okay that's perfectly fine so allow me to screen share my ppt okay uh, all right so i'll be uh discussing with you the imrad of research okay so this is to sign post the uh, actual um talk or webinar that will uh, take place after me no okay so when you say uh, IMRAD, it's actually a format in scientific writing. So you have introduction, 
method, results, and discussion. But na, but I'm not going to talk about these, no? Okay? Uh, hindi ko aagawan si Sir Earl. Hi, Sir Earl. Ng, uh, uh, ng role, no? Okay? So, I'm going to talk about different form of team. Okay? Ito yung mga bagay na kailangan mo para makapagsulat ka ng maayos o makapagkandak ng isang scientific investigation ng maayos. Okay, the values that you need. First, of course, you have to have egos. Ayan. Or I'd like to operationalize it in in the context of research. I call this perseverance. Okay, there will be moments na you really have to to stop, no? Okay, pagdating sa research kasi you you're overwhelmed. Okay o marami pang mga bagay-bagay na may encounter mo, but you really have to persevere. Dapat may gus ka, okay? may igos. Alright? So this is very important in conducting a scientific investigation. You will not be able to reach the finish line if you don't have igos or perseverance. Okay? So that's the first skill okay, that you, you should have. Okay. So that's why the meme here or the photo says here, warning, I am dangerous when focused. Okay. So connected to sa igos, no? When you are my igos, okay, when you're when you are very persevering, no, you're actually focused. You are focused on doing something. So sabi dito ng lalaki, I am dangerous when focused. And then magulat na lamang tayo kahit pa maraming bagay, no, na uh, Na, na, na mga nagpapahirap sa atin pagdating sa research, okay, probably yung language skills natin, okay, wala tayong self-esteem sa lingwahe natin, sa language ng pagsusulat natin. But if you continue on persevering, okay, you will actually reach, reach the finish line. And magugulat ka kung gaano ka ka-dangerous, no? Kapag ikaw ay focused, kapag ikaw ay nagpe-persevere. So that's one, okay, that's the I in Imran. Igos. The next one is... Uh, mission. Ayan. You have to have a purpose. Okay. What's your purpose in doing your scientific investigation? Yung mga STEM people halimbawa, gusto nyo makapag-create ng isang mas mas uh, mas ma maayos, no? mas e effective and efficient na fertilizer na makakatulong sa mga farmer. Okay? So that is a great purpose. Okay? So dapat kapitan mo yung purpose na yan yung mission na yan. Dahil kung wala kang purpose, kung wala kang mission, di bali wala din yung scientific investigation mo, yung papel mo, yung, yung, yung research mo. Mahalaga na kailangan natin ma-realize yung mission natin no? kapag ka naggumagawa tayo ng isang papel. Because, just like what I've said, there will always be challenges along the way. Problems are inevitable. Okay? Even veteran researchers even seasoned scientists encounter lots of problems when they're they're conducting scientific explorations or investigations, so to speak. But once you you know you get overwhelmed, you always go back to your why. Why I'm conducting this research? Who will be benefiting from from my findings? Okay. So kapag ka bumalik ka dyan sa why mo, no, sa mission mo, you will continue okay you will you will actually persevere okay so this is somehow related to the first i okay yung egos okay so we have now two uh, egos mission and then r yan ranga um ranga the literal meaning of ranga in bicol is like um kagaanan daw ng buot no Okay, o pagranga. But I'd like to operationalize it in the context of research. Okay, love. No? The love, first, the love for research. It's really hard to fall in love with research. Okay, napakahira po. And uh, as educators, it's also difficult to make students fall in love with research. Yan. Mahalaga po na makapag-develop tayo niya ng love, no? pagmamahal sa research. At pwede din itong itik ng literal. Okay, yung may mga jowa, no? Okay, pwede din yung love ninyo, no? Ang makapag makapag you know, care sa inyo kasi kailangan niyo ng support system, no? Kailangan po yan, support system kapag kayo na gumagawa ng research. And most importantly, ranga of the school, meaning love ng school para sa inyo. That's why I am so happy that Pilar National Comprehensive High School, no, has this initiative to actually uh, organize this webinar course with the uh, uh, guidance of your advisors and uh, 
uh, and of course the initiative of the the 4H club no at iba pang mga organizations sa senior high school okay you're you're very lucky because the school really loves you guys okay so you are nga love for research at the same time love of the people around you okay because research I mean natin research is difficult all right kung talagang tutatahakin natin yung tunay na pananaliksik no Mahirap siya, okay, kung tutuusin. Pero dahil sa support system, dahil sa guidance ng mga, ng mga teachers and all the persons around you, you will definitely succeed. Alright? So that's it. So you have now three. Igos, okay, um, what, what's the letter M? What's the letter M? Sige nga, type 1. If nakikinig kayo, type 1. Pwede ba kayong mag-type dyan? Di ba nakikita ko you're typing your... your, your your names okay type one if you're still there i would like to know if you're still there alive and kicking yeah all right type one type two kung may type ka sa zoom meeting na to nako walang nagta type two no nako walang nagta type two lahat sila type one so wala silang type okay sa zoom meeting na to all right Siga, let's move on. So you have their Vranga or love. Ay nako si Shalchel may ano, si Sir Shalchel may type 2. So may type siya sa meeting na to. Syempre, type ni teachers lahat, no? Okay, ayan. Siga, let's move forward. Yan action. All right. So you have their after after Vranga action. What do you mean by action? Your scientific um your scientific papers, yung research ninyo, no? Um, will not be complete without disseminating the findings. Ito yung problema natin sa, Filip sa Pilipinas. No? This has been a perennial problem in the Philippines. We have many dissertations, thick, voluminous dissertations, thesis no, in the libraries, pero hindi sila napapublish. Okay? Dadaan ang bagyo. Okay, nawala sila. Okay, na, na ano sila. Okay, kailangan natin ng action at isa sa mga action na ito yung pag-publish ng findings ng paper ninyo. Okay, mahalaga po na na-present ang findings or at least ma-present siya sa conferences. Okay, because you'd like to disseminate no the findings. Your 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 papers, your whatever findings you're going to have there okay, in your study will be useless if they will not be disseminated to to, to the proper audience. Okay? to the larger scientific community, so to speak. That's why it's very important that you present your findings in conferences. Okay? Hindi lang siya for the sake of, let's say, compliance. Nag-defend yung paper. Yan is school-based lamang yun. Okay? It's like the simulation of defense. Defense ng yun. But the more enjoyable part, no? of research is when you present your papers in conferences because once you do that you will be you will be receiving lots of feedback from other students from experts also in the field and that in turn okay, the feedback in turn will help you improve your paper Okay, so uh, sabi ni Sir Lowell, magbigay daw ako ng mga tips okay, sa pag-present o sa pag-defend ng paper unang-una yung tatandaan no kapag ka defend niyo yung paper hindi po nandoon ang panelists hindi nandoon ang panel to find fault in your work they're there to help you kaya wag niyong iisipin na ay nako uh, papahirapan tayo we're just going to get grilled okay we're just going to get sauteed no in our in our own oil hindi po ganoon okay gigisa yung sariling mantika hindi ganoon ang defense hindi ganoon ang presentation, paper uh, presentation or poster presentation pagdating sa conferences. You're doing that because first, you'd like to share your findings with the larger community. And second, you'd like to to improve the, your paper. Okay? Kasi experts ang titingan yan. Experts yung mga audience. So, so ang, ang goal nila ay to, to help you improve the paper. You know what? There has been... Um, Sabi ng mga professors ko uh, sa De La Salle University, mas maigi nga mag-present daw sa ibang bansa. Kasi daw yung mga taga-ibang bansa, yung mga foreigners, they would really help you. Okay? They will really point, uh, pinpoint the, the, the strengths okay? at the same time help you improve on certain areas of your, uh, of your paper. Pero pagdating daw sa Pinas, medyo ano eh, medyo yun nga, fault finder. Pero um, ang, ang isipin lang natin, no? 
once we do defense, okay, uh, ng doon ang panelists, ng doon ang audience to help you. So, wag tayong matatakot, matatakot. And pagdating sa presentations, just remember, this is very popular na yung KISS. No? Keep it short and simple. Ayan. Because when you do presentations and conferences, you will not do it you know the entire uh, the entire one hour no it's always time bound very limit, limited yung time 20 minutes so keep it short and simple okay so all of these things will be uh, further discussed with you i believe in the second part of this uh webinar series okay so you know that that is to just uh this is to just uh signpost no of what we're going to talk about in the second part of the series okay sige um we're done with the letter uh a letter D disposition. The literal literal meaning of disposition is the inherent qualities of mind and character. Okay, katulad nito no, oh, na success niya, bam success. Okay, magagating yung po yung success. Okay, yung dulo ng yung dulo ng research no. Kung mayroong kayong strong disposition, you'll be able to succeed. Okay, kapag ka talagang meron kayong resilience, meron kayong grit, meron kayong strong mind and character. All right, katulad nito, talagang success na success na siya. Okay? Ayun. So, again, yung Imrad po natin, these are the things that we we I believe we need in order for us to complete the uh, scientific investigation senior high school research odyssey. I believe po and I always emphasize, research does not end in proposal defenses or final defenses okay research must the findings of research must be presented in conferences they must be published okay so anong dapat nating pagtuunan kapag ka ito yung goal natin we have to have the following okay igos vision ranga action at disposition Okay, so to inspire you, you know, I believe these are the core values that De La Salle University Senior High School um, has okay, as a learning institution and as a research university. Because um, to inspire you, since 2018, um, De La Salle University Senior High School has produced 34 published papers in refereed journals okay and conference proceedings okay 34 um there's a close collab why why were we able to to make it no there's a close collaboration between the research advisors and the students okay close lang close talaga yung collaboration mula sa pag-iisip sa pag-conceptualize but that the concepts are originally from from the students okay ang goal lang ni, ni research advisors really are to help and guide the students so close collaboration po yan pagdating din po sa pagsulat okay close collaboration lang da, uh, po yan and then another thing we shifted from requiring the students i'd like to share this no so that uh, you, you're, you're gonna have an idea as to to as to how we're, we're doing this we shifted from requiring the students uh to produce full length paper like the uh, thesis format okay hindi na po yan yung yung final output ang final output na na mga bata ay actual na journal article okay so at the end of the uh, the entire senior high school curriculum um all senior high school students mapa stem humanities and social sciences lahat po na strands they are required to come up with a journal article pero they are not obliged to submit the papers to to a uh, journal uh, to academic journals so um before before they do that they have to select first an academic journal and then from uh, uh they'll follow no the guidelines the protocol the author guidelines lahat ng format and template ng napili nilang journal at yun na yung gagawin nila yung yun na yung susundin nila kapag ka nag come up sila ng sarili nilang journal article. So, ibig sabihin, ready na to be submitted. So, nasa, nasa advisor na lang at sa, sa, sa students kung ipapublish nila yung papel o hindi. So, yun. And of course, uh, syempre, uh, sa amin, ang, ang napakahirap sa, sa sistema ng uh, sa, sa DEP. And for example, yung walang paper advising 
kasi sa amin kasama siya sa loading. So talaga bawat research groups ay may kanya-kanyang ad- research advisor. I don't know how how you do this in the in the Department of Education, but I believe that should be the the norm. That should be the standard. Each student should have a research advisor. And in our case, the research advisors are not necessarily the research teacher. Okay? So, halimbawa ako, nagtuturo ako ng research, no? pero yung, yung mga bata, iba-iba yung advisors nila. Hindi ako. Kasi naranasan ko din sa previous school ko, ako yung research teacher, ako din yung advisor. So, imagine, imagine the amount of, uh, you know, the number of uh, papers that you have to check. No? So, I believe we really have to create system, create system that will allow us to facilitate things and i the, the one i shared uh, i i think is, a, is is an effective way to to do this okay so may kanya kanya silang advisor so i'd like to to share with you no to inspire you uh, even more okay i'd like to share with you some titles three titles i believe okay ito na published nila uh, just recently no 2018 i believe this is the first paper that got published uh, increase vitamin b5 update Update capacity of ultrasonic treated milled rice, a new method for rice fortification. Okay, so yan. So sila yung mga researchers. Ngayon mga college na sila. You know, nakaka-proud. Kasi kahit senior high school na kayo, kahit na-publish yung paper nyo na college, meron na kayong yan. Na-publish na kayo. Sabi nila, pwede na kayong mamatay. Kasi pwede na kayong masayit. Okay, pwede na kayong masayit. Alright? Another uh, paper... Uh, kinuha ko lang yung pang stem electro electrochemical determination of tannic acid using graphite electrodes sourced from waste zinc carbon batteries okay so yan nakipag coordinate din sila sa physics department ng Central Mindanao University okay and last one translating an Aesop's fable to Filipino sign language through 3D animation okay so this is part of the uh, Uh, proceedings in the ninth workshop on the representation and processing of sign languages. Okay, so yun. So these are the, there's not just some. Imagine 34 since 2018. So mal, uh, patuloy pa yung uh, goal namin no, na, ma, na increase yung um, number ng mga students na nag engage sa publishing, scientific writing. All right. So I am also, uh, this is a uh, To, to plug no i am also uh, uh, encouraging you to publish uh, in the sinaya journal this is the philippine journal for senior high school teachers and students okay so if you have uh, um, time you you visit this page just type in the browser sinaya journal okay you will be led to this web page okay so this is uh, the collaboration of the three la salle schools Okay. and i am the uh, managing editor of uh, of this no uh, so pwede po kayo mag-submit year round ang kailangan lamang po dito ay uh, uh, collaboration then ng students dapat hindi lang siya purely students dapat dapat meron pong kasamang advisor or research uh, teacher or research advisor okay so ayan po and then of course ang registration ng fourth DLSU Senior High School Research Congress is ongoing. But for the entries, uh, deadline na po noong April 4. So, I believe we we take a small step, uh, one small step at a time. No? Okay, ngayon, siguro sabi ni, si, ni Sir Lowell, hindi kayo nakapagpasa ng, ng entries. No? But I am really uh, positive and hopeful that in the coming uh, in, 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 the, in the coming uh, years no you'll be able to participate in the DLSU senior high school research congress and finally publish uh, in the Sinaya journal okay so pioneer po ito ito yung kauna-unahan na journal para po sa mga estudyante at kaguruan ng senior high school sa ating bansa all right so there you have it okay ito po yung kailangan natin no uli imrad Okay. Igos, Mission, Ranga, Action, Disposition. And, you know, I am so happy, just like what I've said before, that we're holding uh, this activity. No? Uh, this is such a great activity for, for us to learn. So take advantage of it. And I'd like to end this keynote, keynote um, 
message or keynote speech with this quotation. According to Zora Neale Hurston, an American anthropologist, research is formalized, formalized curiosity. Care. It is poking and prying with a purpose. Sometimes you may take a pause, but you always have to go back to your why. You always have to go back to your purpose. And once you do that, for of course, you will definitely succeed. You will definitely reach the finish line. Thank you very much for uh, inviting me. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the webinar. And uh, I am also thankful to, to, to Sir Lowell. Thank you very much, Sir Lowell, for, for, um, for, for taking the time no, to, to invite me uh, uh, for this uh, session. All right. Yun lamang po. Wala bang heart react dyan? Like react? Type 1, type 2. Ayan, sige. Mm -hmm. Wow! Thank you so much, Sir Jason, for the very informative and inspiring message. Thank you for reminding us of the characteristics of being a researcher where a researcher should have egos or perseverance, mission or purpose, ranga or love, action and disposition. We are indeed honored and grateful to have you in this webinar workshop. Mm -hmm. Now, let us also welcome Ms. Gia Shello Makayan for her introduction of the lecture. How will I, uh, how will I do that? The hosting. Okay, sorry for the technical problem. Um, uh, please turn on your mic if you want to say something about what uh, Sir Jameson have discussed. So anyone who wants to volunteer to share their thoughts, their thoughts about the discussion. Good morning, everyone. I'm Gia Dalshalo Makayan, a grade 12 STEM student at Pilar National Comprehensive High School. And I am delighted to introduce our guest speaker for today. Why I'm so excited? Because his talk is so relevant to all of us. He will discuss the fundamental knowledge and skills that we as students, researchers, and innovators could apply for the betterment of our own endeavors. 
So, just a brief background, our guest speaker for today graduated from Bicol University College of Nursing in Legazpi City in 2010. He is currently a research teacher at Ligao National High School Science, Technology and Engineering STE and will also graduate as a Juris Doctor at the University of Santa Tomas Legazpi this year. Let's manifest that. However, he is also a managing director of SB Creatives and dub as a Batman to his friends and the one who introduced 4-H to Pilar. Thereby, we have the first 4-H club in the year 2016. Everyone, let's get some inside secrets from someone who is indeed an expert. Please join me in welcoming our happily married speaker for today, Sir Earl R. Kalingasyon. Yo, hi. Naririnig niyo ako? Okay bang audio ko? Can someone comment kung naririnig ako ng matino? Yes po, sir. Okay. Ay. Hmm. Kaninong kagagawan yung introduction? Gusto ko lang sabihin. Uh, <laughs> pawang kasi nung <laughs> Well, uh, paano ko ba sabihin? Well, thank you for having me. Uh, Nag-enjoy ako, sir, sa discussion, sir uh, Miranda from La Salle. Uh, yeah, thank you for um, reminding us that we need funding. <laughs> uh, let me just introduce myself. Uh, nung sabi ni Lowell, kung sino man ang niloko niya para introduce ako na expert ako sa research, hindi yung totoo. Nagkataon lang <laughs> na ako ang research teacher ng Ligao National High School sa junior high. Our program has been running for like uh, more than 10 years. I have been uh, the research teacher for grade 10, grade 9, dependent for more or less uh, 6 years. Uh, 6 years ba? Ah, de, 5 years, 5 years. Five years. Yes, pa ako dati. Uh, what I'm sharing with you is uh, yung mga practices pagdating sa pagsusulat ng mismong research paper. Okay? So, yeah. Allow me to uh, share my screen. So, uh, when we discuss IMRAD, uh, what we're discussing is a format. Uh, it's a manner of how we present our research paper. Actually, it should be called AIMRAD kasi ang tunay na itsura niya should look like this. Uh, hey. Yan. Okay. That should look like that. Okay. Uh, it should be AIMRAD dahil laging nauuna ang abstract. Now, uh, Di ko sasayangin ang oras nyo. Uh, let me be very quick with this. Let me be very brief. The abstract is a summary kung ano yung mismong laman ng inyong research paper. Kung baga, when you, when you publish your research paper, ito yung mababasa agad ng mga uh, readers ninyo. It should be the first thing that should be read. So the abstract is typically uh, four to six paragraphs containing new uh, summary ng buong research paper. Basically, ano yung ginawa ninyo sa research, ano yung kinalabasan, uh, ano yung silbi niya. Uh, that's it. That's the abstract. Okay. So, ang um, importante kasi sa abstract kasi, uh, ay, sorry. Ang, ang maganda kasi sa IMRAD, bakit siya ang ginagamit na ngayon is because uh, sa IMRAD, uh, mas madali siyang i-publish. Now, uh, let me tell you about how science works. Uh, how how does science work? Uh, so, nung grade 7 kayo, sa science ninyo, diniscuss ninyo yung scientific method. So, uh, mag-uumpisa kayo sa observation, then nagkaroon kayo ng curiosity, then you go on to uh, formulate your hypothesis, and then you will go on, uh, gumawa ng inyong uh, research design, mag experiment kayo, and then tinest talaga ninyo, then, then you test your hypothesis, uh, and then uh, guma nagsulat kayo ng conclusions ninyo, and then you publish it. But science doesn't work after you publish it. Kasi may mga tinatawag tayong replication studies. Kasi unless peer-reviewed ang inyong, uh, peer-reviewed ang inyong uh, sinulat, hindi siya mag, magiging part ng tinatawag natin na general body of science. Kasi kailangan ma-check muna ng ibang researchers na, oh yeah, what he is saying is true. Uh, maybe what he is saying is correct. Kasi naobserbahan din namin following the same procedure, following the same uh, methodology 
na-observe natin na parehas din yung kanyang uh, observations. Parehas din ang kanyang uh, uh, results. So, pagdating kasi sa science, importante na meron tayong verification ng kung ano yung na-observe ng isang researcher. Dapat ma-observe din ng isang researcher or dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, mas marami, mas maganda, na the same pa rin yung tinitingnan niya. And what what's the good thing about Imrad is madali siyang ma-publish dahil uh, summarized version siya. Remember that publishing will require money. It's just difficult to say, pero ang publishing, mga kailangan ng pera. You cannot publish when you do not have one, money, two, connections. Kahit gano'n ang kagandang results ng iyong research, kung wala ka ng dalawang yan, you won't get published. And pag hindi ka na-publish, hindi ma-peer review, hindi ma-cross-reference yung mga findings mo, ay eh nagsayang ka ng libo-libong pe- pera, and then hindi naman siya nagiging scientific knowledge. So, importanteng-importante na magkaroon tayo ng format na digestible, na publishable. Bakit? Kasi halimbawa, may journal. Iilan lang naman ang mga journals. I mean, people compete to have space in their journals because, you know, Uh, may mga incentives yon para sa mga researchers. Uh, researchers get, I don't know, siguro yung credential, two, par- promotion, three, uh, and very unlikely, funding. So, uh, the more published kasi you are, the more uh, our people are likely to fund your research, the more na magkakaroon ka ng pera para makapag-conduct pa ng mga researches in the future. So, To do this, kailangan nating ma-publish yung paper in an engaging manner na hindi na natin sinusunod yung napakahaba. Imagine, an average research paper, kapag sinulat mo using that traditional format na mayroon kang introduction, statement of the problem, review of related literature and studies, methods and methodologies, uh, uh, materials and methodology, conclusion, uh, recommendation, it would take up 100 to 200 pages. So, How are you going to publish that? Hindi yung tatanggapin ng mga journal. So, uh, we invented a way na maging publishable yung mga articles na yan na ma-fit siya sa isang journal at tinatawag natin yun na IMRAD. That's the main purpose of IMRAD. The publishability ng mga research paper for whatever purpose it may serve the researcher or the journal. So, having said that, uh, you always remember that writing in IMRAD is not necessarily... Uh, hindi siya yung necessarily balangkas, hindi siya yung necessarily structure kung paano nyo kinukondak ang inyong research. You will still have to follow uh, the research uh, steps as you have been taught traditionally. That you have to write your introduction, that you have to write your statement of the problem, you have to formulate uh, your specific questions, you have to formulate uh, so uh, this, uh, tapos ipapavalidate mo yon, magkakanda ka ng inyong review of related literature and studies para ma-justify mo yung inyong research, para ma in plagiarism, you will still be doing these steps. And IMRAD is only the way by which you present your research in research journals. Clear? Okay, Elbayon? Uh, if you can hear me, pagalawin nyo nga ang baso. Sige nga. May nakikinig ba sa akin? Yun nga pakahirap sa webinar. Hindi mo alam kung may nakikinig sa iyo. Alam mo naman. Hu, 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 hu. Pero po, sir. Pero po, sir. Nanikinig ka po namin. Naman. Oh, yeah. Na kaya ko naman nakikinig sila. <laughs> nakikinig sila. <laughs> Taring lang. Okay, let's proceed. So, uh, basically, uh, this is how it will look like. Oh, ano yung abstract? The abstract, diba? The abstract will introduce the topic. It will give the specific questions or objections. It will list the main techniques or procedures na ginamit without going into the details first. And then it will give the most significant results and then describe the conclusion that the researchers have acquired from uh, conducting the research. So basically, that's the abstract. The abstract is supposed to be three to four paragraphs. Tapos. Okay? The four paragraphs. Yun lang. Okay? Ah, ganito ang example niya. Yeah. Okay, I'm giving you more or less, sabihin natin, I'll give you one minute to read this.
Okay na? Nabasa nyo? Okay, question. Naririnig nyo yung chainsaw sa microphone ko? Naririnig nyo ba? Hindi naman. Sana hindi. Hindi naman. Hindi naman. Wala kang naririnig na chainsaw. Okay, good. Continue. So, uh, that's how a typical abstract should be. Again, what we are looking for in an abstract ay itong mga bagay na ito. Yan. That's what we are looking for. So, see, uh, yan na. Inintroduce yung topic. Di ba? Uh, you following? Mm. Binigay yung specific questions. Nilista yung main techniques and procedures. Ito. Diniscribe yung resulta. And then, diniscribe yung main conclusion. That's how an abstract should look like. Okay. Huwag na itong practice task. Okay. Pagpunta naman sa introduction, ano yung mga hinahanap natin? A good introduction should describe the background of the study. And dati, na yung nasa chapter 2 na review of related literature and studies, nilalagay na natin sa introduction. So this is, I, alam nyo, I have been doing research kasi dati akong research assistant uh, sa DENR. Napakahirap kasi ang haba ng sinusulat namin. And you know, pagdating sa review of related literature, when you're working for an agency, if you fit in mo na lang yung review of related literature, ito yung pinakasinasapote natin because we see it as a compliance. Uh, you know, pag compliance ang basis mo sa paggawa ng bagay, you know, minimum effort ang ilalagay mo dyan. Kasi sa totoo lang, sa loob-loob mo, napakawalang kwenta naman ito. Bakit ko pagagawin? <laughs> kasi, di ba, uh, you know, pag compliance ang nagiging objective ng mga tao, pag compliance na lang lagi, you know, will put minimum effort into it kasi you don't see the importance of it. Uh, do, do, do you hear what I'm saying? Please read between the lines. <laughs> May nakikinig dito ang supervisor. Hi, hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go. Ano magsumbong? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Uh, pero pag nalaman mo yung purpose ng isang bagay, why do you do what you are doing? Mas mamahalin mo ang isang bagay. Halimbawa, naintindihan mo ngayon kung ano ang silbi ng review of related literature. Naintindihan mo na sa review of related literature, dito ka makakakuha ng guide ng iyong methodology para hindi ka bulag na gumagawa ng experiments. Dito makukuha kung may duplication na ba ito, ano ba ang alam natin, ano pa ang hindi natin alam. Pag alam mo to, mas gaganahan kang gumawa ng review of related literature at masasala mo siya doon sa pinaka-essential na ilalagay mo sa IMRAD because in IMRAD format, you will be allotting a maximum of five para sa review of related literatures. Five is uh, really masyado ng maano. Five paragraphs, masyado na yung mahaba. Okay? So again, uh, pag tinatanong ako ng mga estudyante ko anong unang ginagawa sa research, the first thing to be done before formulating the problem, before kayo magsulat ng kahit na ano, is review the related literature and studies. That's just it. There's just no way of going around it kasi ang pinaka-iniiwasan natin is duplication and doing things blindly. Well, without reviewing the review of related literature, blinded kayo. So dito, sa so pag nagsusulat tayo ng IMRAD, distilled lang siya talaga sa kung ano ang pinaka-essential. Usually, sinusulat natin yan sa lumang format, doon sa tinatawag natin na synthesis of the state of the art and gap to be bridged by the study. Hindi na natin nililista lahat ng sources, kung bakit siya relevant, na relate na lang natin ng basta-basta. No. Uh, what we are essentially putting here is yung tinatawag natin previously, the gap to be bridged, ano yung hindi pa natin alam, and synthesis of the state of the art, ano yung alam natin currently. Okay. So, then, we put in the Objectives. Ano ang pinaka gusto mong gawin sa iyong research? Previously, ang tawag natin dito ay statement of the problem or specific research questions. And then, afterwards, writing that, isusulat natin yung significance of the research or the significance of the study. Uh, hindi na natin dati iniisa-isa. Uh, the, stu the student researchers are conducting this research to benefit the following. First, the student because he will be able to pass the subject to the research teacher. Yung mga ganong kakornihan to help the community, to help the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Uh, <laughs> hindi na yun ang sinusulat natin. Sinusulat lang natin talaga kung ano yung pinaka-significance niya. Given two or three main uh, communities or population or kung categories, kung sino ang pinaka mabi benefit niya talaga. I have an assumption that I am speaking too fast. Am I speaking too fast for your internet connection? Di naman ako nagsistater. Okay, good. 
Walang comment? Okay? Okay no, tayo? Po, okay tayo? Yes po, sir. Yes po. Okay, okay. Good. Buti pa to si Jan Ray. Pag mga Jan Ray talaga maasahan. Doon kayo kay Jay. Yeah. Okay. So, sa scope and delimitations, ilalagay mo kung ano yung pinaka saklaw lang ng research mo at ano yung magiging parte ng research mo and kung ano yung magiging hindi parte ng research mo. So, for example, you are studying the effects of online classes. Uh, alimbawa, uh, you want to study the uh, effects of uh, online classes to students nga of STEM chorba chorba so i-delimit mo lang kung ano ang hindi parte uh, hindi parte ng ano na to yung demographics hindi parte ng ano to yung ibang factors gaya ng uh, paglalaro uh, kumbaga ang gusto mo lang malaman uh, ilalagay mo is kung may natutunan ba talaga doon sa pagkakandak ng online classes so uh, yun lahat ang nandoon sa inyong introduction Uh, this is an example of uh, an an introduction made by one of my favorite students na namayapa na. I mean, I mean nag college na. <laughs> okay, so ganito niya in a range, di ba? Ganito yung introduction niya. So, kung estudyante ko kayo, pina-arrange ko to kayo sa tamang sequence. Pero dahil hindi ko naman kayo estudyante, pinapakita ko lang sa inyo. So, <laughs> okay? Okay. Now, Let's go to methodology. Sa methodology, uh, this is important. Uh, this should not be skipped at all. Kasi yung methodology, ito yung pinaka tinitingnan ng mga kapwa mong researcher if they will be conducting a verification study of your research. Pag gusto nyo lang tingnan kung tama ka o chinamba mo lang ang mga results mo, hindi nila titingnan ang results. Ang titingnan nila ay yung methodology. Again, very important part, very integral part ng science and research ay ang verification studies. Ayun nga lang, kulang ang verification studies kasi bihira ang nag-fund ng verification studies. It's one thing that you discover something new. It's one thing to discover, it's a great thing na makadiscover ka ng something nakakaiba. Pero hindi yun magiging parte ng body of knowledge. Kasi bago yun maging parte ng body of knowledge, kailangan mo na lang verification studies. Okay? So, isipin mo, Ang iba, wala namang incentive na gumawa ng verification studies because hindi nakapangalan sa kanila yung study. So yeah, that's why mahirap din talaga ang mundo ng science. Okay. Ano yung particular techniques used? Ano yung changes sa technique? Kailangan yung i-document kung hindi gumagana, anong ginawa nyo? Ano yung mga equipment na ginamit ninyo? Paano nyo ginamit yung equipment? Uh, yung description ng population or ng mga organisms being studies? studied, ano yung mga working assumptions ninyo, ano yung mga statistical method na ginamit ninyo, pati ang software na gagamitin ninyo sa pag-process. So, yun ang uh, laman ng inyong uh, methodology. Okay? So, yan. Kung estudyante ko kayo, ipapa-identify ko sa inyo kung anong mga part yan. Pero dahil hindi ko kayo estudyante, ibibigay ko na lang sa inyo itong PowerPoint presentation. Okay? Bigay ko na kay Sir Lowell. Okay. Let's go. Dito. Dito, uh, papunta na tayo sa results and discussion which should end yung ating discussion. Okay. Mabilis lang ako. Sabi sa inyo eh. Okay. Ano yung uh, results and discussion? Ano ang hindi kasama? Hindi kasama ang raw data. Kailangan pag results and discussion, process data na para maintindihan na agad nung nagbabasa kung ano man yung kailangan niya. Bakit? Kasi kung ako interesado sa study ninyo, ikukontak ko na lang kayo for full details because publishers have a way of giving uh, information kung paano ikontak ang mga uh, authors ng article. If people are so really interested in reading the tabular data, in reading yung Excel sheet ninyo, uh, they will ask you for it. Pero kung ako nagbabasa ng isang scientific journal and I'm reading through 50 pages of tabular data, it don't make sense. It doesn't make sense to do that. Okay, kaya nga ang Imbrad is for shortening what is being published para maging kabasa-basa siya. Okay? Okay? 
it should present the data in forms of measurement, counts, percentages. Uh, the key data and relationships among data are explained. So dito muna sasabihin uh, yung statistical tool, ano yung significance, ng, ah, yung significance. Ah. Kung pasok ba siya sa critical value, anong ibig sabihin nun pag patok siya, pasok siya sa uh, critical value. Basically, sa IMRAD, you will do there, uh, you will write there kung ano yung na-found out mo sa inyong study. So that's just IMRAD. Okay? Hmm. So halimbawa, uh, ito, nag-try kami ng aming uh, hmm. Teka lang. Ito, 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 ito. Yan. Gumawa kami ng rover. Tinest namin kung ano yung speed niya in meters per second. Uh, hindi mo to ilalagay. Ay, sorry. Ilalagay mo ito kasi ito na yung summary. Ito na yung pinaka-summary niya. Pero, hindi mo to necessary ilalagay pag pinablish mo na siya. This will show up. This will show up lang doon sa paper ninyo na isasubmit ninyo, of course, sa inyong professor, sa inyong research teacher. Pero uh, this uh, will not appear doon sa mismong paper na isasubmit for publishing. So ilalagay nyo na lang kung ano yung average speeds niya. Kaya hindi nakasama ang raw data. Okay? So parang ganyan, parang ganito ang IMRAD. Ganyan siya. Yan. Ito yung introduction. Ano yung laman niya. Yan. All in all. Okay. Uh, I think I should end there. Kasi ang usapan lang naman ay yung Luel is introduce kayo into IMRAD. So let's just have a short summary. IMRAD is a format. IMRAD is a format na ginagamit natin to save space. Publishing space in uh, to be specific. Para mas maintindihan agad ng reader, para mahanap agad ng reader yung kanyang hinahanap. Uh, IMRAD is divided into the introduction, the materials and methodology, and the results and discussion. Ang pinakaunang mababasa ay ang abstract. So, again, uh, when writing research, huwag kayong ma-intimidate. Pinakamadali ng format ang IMRAD. I don't think may mas dadali pa ditong format. Ito na ang pinakamadali na discussion nito. Okay? Uh, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, if you have questions, ask Lowell. <laughs> if you have questions, uh, sabihin nyo na uh, bago pa natin isara ang altar. May questions po? Wala po, sir. Malinaw po Wala. lahat. Malinaw lahat. Okay. Quiz. Dahil sumagot ka na malinaw lahat. Question number one. <laughs> Joke lang. Uh, thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Linkay, sir, for attending. Uh, I think doon na mag-end ang talk ko. If you have questions, wala namang problema sa akin kung i-contact ako. But office hours, okay? Thank you for having me. Thank you, sir. Wow. Thank you, sir, Earl, for the mind-blowing discussion as well as to Sir Jameson. We highly appreciate your presence today and your efforts to share your knowledge about writing scientific research that we can apply in our own research endeavors. Indeed, at this juncture, we will have a question and answer session and the participants are allowed to ask questions. You may use the chat box below or raise hand button so we can easily notice you and give you the opportunity to speak through your mind. Please take note that only related questions will be entertained. Oi, but you know how picture is pretty up though. You know what I well.
Again, you may use the chat box below if you have questions. Okay, from Mr. Denzel Mischola. Sir, I would like to ask Paul if there's a minimum page for conducting and writing a research paper. Honestly, uh, that question is quite complex. Walang minimum, pero it would make sense uh, na ma-fit mo lahat ng kailangan doon sa paper na ipipresent niyo. Again, at... Uh, yung minimum requirements kung magsiset ang inyong school will vary depending sa institution kung saan kayo nagkakandak ng research. So for DepEd, uh, wala kaming minimum. At least in our school, wala kaming minimum. Uh, may maximum pag sa IMRAD, wala rin. Kasi depende pa rin sa contents na ma-justify mo yung length or yung shortness ng paper na ipipresent niyo. Basically, as long as you can insert yung mga bare, mga bare, yung mga necessary data na kailangan na nakikita sa paper, wala naman. Walang constraints. I hope I answered the question. Salamat, sir. My question, what are the things that need to be considered in order to properly and confidently defend your research paper? Number one, kailangan tumulong ka dun sa grupo mo, hindi ka pabigat. Yun ang number one palaga. Pagdating sa defense, ang mga hindi nakakasagot, yung mga walang tinulong at pansit kanton lang ang binigay. <laughs> Kasi yung confidence, confidence is something that comes from knowledge. Uh, confidence na hindi based on knowledge and skill, ang tawag doon kayabangan. Confidence is something that you will acquire kapag knowledgeable ka sa mga things na sinasabi mo. Ha, huh. What are the different importance of writing a research paper? Ang tanong na ito malamang nasa module. Masa module to, tinatanong niya ako ng assignment niyo. <laughs> Sagutin ko pa rin. Uh, hmm. uh, ako bang sasagot ng lahat? Hindi naman. Kailangan nalilito ako. Question and answer to sa ano ko, sa session ko. Joanna, okay. paki-verify okay. as a session ko to. Okay. Yes po, sir. Okay. So, may nagtatanong ng assignment. Sa module nyo to, gusto ko lang tanongin, nasa module nyo to, itong tanong na to. Di... Mukha... Hindi oh. po. <laughs> Mukhang oo oh, eh. <laughs> Tinanong nyo ko ng assignment. Okay. Anong importance sa pagsusulat ng research paper? One, Kung ikaw ay teacher sa DepEd, matutulungan ka magpa-promote. <laughs> Two, kung ikaw ay gusto magka-pera, gusto mo magka-sponsor sa inyong mga research, magsulat ka ng research paper para mapansin ka ng mga sponsors. Number three, kung gusto mo mag-enroll sa isang exclusive na program, kailangan mo rin na mag-present ng research paper. Three, sa mga master teacher na nasa DepEd, required silang mag-submit ng research paper, action research at least. Number four, masaya magsulat ng research kasi feeling mo may na-contribute ka sa mundo. Hindi ka na matatanong ng mga taong mahinang pag-iisip na ikaw, anong ambag mo? Kasi may ambag ka na sa lipunan kasi nakapag-publish ka na ng research. Search. Okay, Alexa Uy. Alexa Uy. Tips for defense. Number one, tumulong ka sa grupo mo sa paggawa ng research. Number two, basahin mo yung paper at least two times para maalaman ninyo. Number three, master ninyo kung ano yung inyong statement of the problem at kung paano sasagot ng inyong experimentation and paano narasagot ng inyong results kung ano yung mga specific problems or specific research questions na tinanong ninyo sa inyong statement of the problem or sa introduction? 
Um, sir, may suggestions ko po ba kung anong magandang sampling method para sa acceptability study? Uh, what do you mean acceptability acceptability like, study? For example po, so research me about acceptability of Rincospora corimbosa or agas paper as an alternative to commercial paper. Ah, kasi yan. Ito kasi yan. Yan, may mali sa construction ninyo ng research problem. Okay lang na ikritiko kayo. Baka sumama ang loob nyo, i-block nyo ako sa Facebook, mag-post kayo, screenshot nyo ako, <laughs> tapos i-bash nyo ako, which is okay lang naman. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, hmm. Ganita si Anak na study ninyo, <laughs> may problema ang pakaformulate. Kasi experimental siya, pero ang ginagamit din yung validation tool ay preferential. Kumbaga, nagtatanong kayo ng opinion ng tao kung ma-accept nila ang papel. Tama? Yun ang gusto nyo gawin? Tama. Okay. Mali yun. Masama ang loob mo. Hindi mo. Hindi mo. Hindi mo. Okay. So, pag ganyan, ang kailangan yung gawin is i-rephrase nyo yung research study ninyo at baguhin nyo yung methodology. Kasi, ang testing nyo, ano yung mga characteristics ng magandang papel? One, Masusulatan ba siya? Two, matibay ba siya? Ano yung strength niya? Ano yung stress test niya? Mapupunit ba siya agad? Madali ba siyang mabasa? Magagamit mo ba siya? Yun yung mga kailangan yung itest at hindi acceptability. Kasi kung ako kaibigan mo, kahit napakapangit ng naproduce niyong papel, pag tinanong mo ako, do you accept this as a genuine token of your love for me? <laughs> Di siyempre nasabihin ko, oh, sige na, accept ko yung papel ninyo. <laughs> Ka, uh, may tanong, Lubrigo Karen. Lubrigo. May judge Lubrigo. Ah. Hey, asan si Lubrigo? Pwedeng paka-turn on ang camera mo? De okay. Uh, Karen, mahirap sagutin yung tanong na yan kung qualitative or quantitative kasi depende sa problem na nai-encounter ninyo. Again, may difference ang qualitative and quantitative. And this will answer. This should answer your question. My difference sila in a way na magkaiba silang approach. Okay, is it okay if there are manuscripts in having a difference? Yes. Ah, basically, as a practice, sa amin, ang panel namin is at least three, ideally apat. Isang taga check ng APA styling ng mga formatting. Ah, isang statistician. Uh, isang subject matter expert sa kung anong subject uh, magbibilong yung research and yung advisor ng research. So technically, apat. Uh, uh, in reality, apat ang kailangan. So apat na manuscript, tigiisa yung mga panel. And kahit kayo, may hawa kayo, wala na akong problema kung may hawa kayo. Wala pa namang, uh, wala pa namang nag ko sa'yo dahil may darang manuscript. Thank you, Pastor. May kota kayo. Dapat lahat may question. <laughs> Inutusan na naman kayo ni Lowell. <laughs> may gusto kayong itanong kay Sir Lowell nyo. Itanong nyo na sa akin. BF up ako niyan. Sige. Tanongin nyo ako. Dili. Sagutin ko. Please. <laughs> Ilang taon na tayo mag-friend. Uh, We were friends starting 2007. Nakalain mo? 15 years ko na yung pinagtsatsagaan. <laughs> ano pa? Wala nang tanong? Okay na? Thank you to those who step up to ask their questions, and of course, to the speakers who actively answer all the queries of the participants. Okay, we shall now proceed with the awarding of certificates. Allow me to read the citation. Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 5, Pilar National Comprehensive High School, 4-H Club of the Philippines, Pilar and CHS Chapter, Mariposke Pilar, Sorsigan. This certificate of appreciation is hereby awarded to Mr. Jason M. Miranda in grateful recognition for his invaluable contribution as a keynote speaker in the first virtual seminar workshop writing scientific research paper with the theme Empowering Pilar National Comprehensive High School Students Towards Higher STEM Literacy 
Research and Innovation, held on the 8th day of April 2022 via Zoom and YouTube Live. Given this 8th day of April 2022 via Zoom. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, signed by John Russell and Sereda for each club president, Lowell Andrian and Solayao. Master Teacher 1, STEM Coordinator, and Sir Amadeo Olaguda, Secondary School Principal 2. Um, thank you to the teachers who are with us today, Mr. Shelty Alista, Sal Zaldi Hazareno, Annalyn Lopera, Harold P. Laquiles, Jenny, Jenny V. Habulan, Marivic Mojica, Sweet Ann Bausa, and Hazel Gamazon. Hello. This another certificate of appreciation is hereby awarded to Sir Earl R. Kalingashon in grateful recognition for his invaluable contribution as a guest speaker in the first virtual seminar workshop, writing scientific research paper with the theme Empowering Pilar National Comprehensive High School Students Towards Higher STEM Literacy, Research, and Innovation, held on the 8th day of April 2022 via Zoom and YouTube Live. Given this 8th day of April 2022 via Zoom. Signed by John Russell and Sereda for each club president, Luella Andrian M. Solayo, Master Teacher 1 STEM Coordinator, and Sir Amadeo Olaguda, Secondary School Principal 2. Kindly turn on your cameras because we will be having a photo opportunity. Again, kindly turn on your cameras because we will be having a photo opportunity. Kadaya, si Lowell, di mo nag on cam. Ayon, what's up bro? <laughs> Hi mga walam. Hi mga sir. Thank you for having me. Makulit ako. Oo, oh, makulit talaga ako. <laughs> One, two, three, go.
Hi, Sir Shell. Hello, Eberan. Ikat <laughs> pipiro tun pa. <laughs> May klase din ako. <laughs> Hi, Sir Sabi. Sir Hello. Hi, Sir Earl. Hello, everyone. Ah, maka- Ma'am Rai, makaturo ka na ng ano, ng PR1 and PR2 and three Ma'am. eyes. Mukiri. Maturo na ng Turo ka na ng PR1, Kaya PR2. Kaya nga ni nag-attend. And three eyes. Ako, Piri. You will now use Imrad. <laughs> hey, hey. Ayan si Sir Lowell. Hindi nagapailing. Hindi eh, mo nagapailing, Sir Lowell. Ano yan? Padaya. Kadaya talaga saan? Kapasubo pa. <laughs> Kadaya. Ipinahamak. Ipinahamak si Sir Earl. Kanyaw naman pa. Libak-libakon ko. Sabi ko, authorized mo na akong libakan siya. <laughs> libakon ka na. Kakasal na pati yan. Si Ram. <laughs> All right. Pero ninong si Sir Earl sa kasal. Day one nga lang, kikuha ang best man. Lapa yan. Kinuha ko yan best man. Nagsayuma. <laughs> Thank you very much Ayan, po. Ayan, na. Ayan, nagpailing na. Wow, hindi si Earl. Salamat po. Salamat. Thank you, dear teachers. Thank you, Sir Earl. Thank you, dear teachers. And students, STEM 11, STEM 12. Thank you po. Ay na. Nagpaginubatan ka. Hindi ka pa nag-ada gusligaw. Ika, so tagaman nila, ay na doon mo pag hindi sa ginubatan. Ako lugod na hindi sa nasa ligaw. Oh, di, aman, di, 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 uh, hi, excited na ako sa pre Excited na ako. May plano na akong music. Puso. Ayan, thank you po. Announcement. Announcement po, yung yung team ni Sir Earl ay nag-hold na, ng, ano yun? Uh, merong, merong business venture din si Sir Earl. SB Creatives. And wow, Earl may promotion. Po, Ganun yun. Ito yes. Oh, Bawi-bawi na bawi tayo. <laughs> Ikaw, sinabi mo sa akin mga fan, kaya babalik ko ng positive. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sige na po. Pinahal. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you po dear teachers. Photo of ito. Uy, bako ini. Ah, uh, natakot ka lang magsalita pa ako no. Nag-prop <laughs> <laughs> host host host. And now let us welcome Miss Alexia Uy, STEM 12 class president for her words of gratitude. Good morning, Stellars. I hope everyone is enjoying and having an insightful day. I am Alexia Uy, STEM 12 class president and 4H club internal vice president. To commence with, to our respected speakers, Sir Jameson, Sir Earl, and our most valued participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to have been asked to propose a word of thanks to this event. I, on behalf of 4H class officers, the entire committee of STEM students, teachers, faculty, and all the people behind this webinar, we extend a very hearty word of thanks to our speakers for gracing your important work and sharing with us your findings and opinions today. All the way from the La Salle Integrated School, a big thank you to Sir Jameson for his efforts for his keynote speech on empowering pillar national comprehensive high school students towards higher STEM literacy, research, and innovation. To Sir Earl, all the way from Legal National High School, we extend our gratitude for honoring us with your presence and sharing us your knowledge about research format for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Team I, or fact from, fact from us, STEM 12 will definitely use these tips and learnings since we're actually on the process of, learn, of finalizing our capstone research and our final defense is also happening this way. 
But not only that, because rest assured that all the stellars and future stellars in here, whether it's STEM and ST students, will make a good use of all the learnings they have acquired today. And of course, before we end, we want to also extend our gratitude to our very own STEM tool advisor and STEM coordinator, Sir Lowell Salayao. Thank you for all that you do. Your hard work doesn't go a lot. Stellars always appreciate you. Hence, once again, on behalf of all those who have contributed to the success of this part one webinar, thanks a million. <laughs> Thank you, Alexia, for the heartwarming words. And now, let's welcome our very own Mr. Lowell Andrian Sulayo, STEM coordinator and grade 12 class advisor. Uh, in behalf of Pilar National Comprehensive High School, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat kay Sir Jameson, also uh, Pilarenyo, and Sir Earl Kalingasyon, uh, adopted Pilarenyo. Ayan. Uh, salamat sa pagpapaunlak sa amin pong imbitasyon. Ganun din po yung ating mga sudyante, STEM 11 and STEM 12. Salamat sa inyong panunood at hopefully meron tayong natutunan na babaunin natin sa ating mga pag-aaral sa PR2 and Capstone. Ganun din po sa ating dear teachers, Sir Shal, Ma'am Hazel, Ma'am Rio, Sir Saldi, uh, at iba pa na hindi ko nabanggit, Ma'am Mavic, Ma'am Ana, and everyone who's watching us via YouTube, maraming salamat din po sa inyo pong panunood. And also po sa lahat ng uh, gusto ng uh, ng video documentation, yan, i-recommend po natin SPK. At ayan yung mga magagandang kuha, ilan sa magagandang kuha natin po sa ay gawa po nila. Yan. At sa lahat po, nakasama natin, Ma'am Sweet, uh, Ma'am Luisa Sardeo, at sa lahat ng sumuporta para sa conduct ng Part 1 webinar series natin, kami po ay nagpapasaya. Yan. Thank you very much. Salamat po. Kasi po, ito ay paghahanda para sa defense ng ating STEM STEM 12. Ayan. Sa second batch ng ating STEM graduating soon. Ayan po. So, in behalf of PNCHS, maraming salamat Sir Earl and Sir Jameson. God bless us all. Thank you, Thank you Sir Lowell, for your warm remarks. Bye-bye. Bye mga madam. Bye mga sir. <laughs> Walang magsumbong. <laughs> Thank you po, sir. The webinar ends here. Thank you so much for your participation in the significant event. You can access the evaluation link in the chat room. Kindly fill that out so we can know your thoughts and takeaways from this webinar workshop. Again, I am Princess JD Balding. I am Joanna Marie Mojica. Thank, Thank you, and we hope to see you in the next webinar workshop session. Stay, Stay safe, safe, and God bless us all. Nagul, piginamit mo pa talaga sa suit. Nagul pa ako, ah. Ate ba yan ang STEM? Galing, galing! Congrats, STEM. Ate ba yan? Galing! Bye, Kuya! Hello. Pasend naman ang re record, record ni kay ni. Nasa YouTube po. Nasa YouTube na? Apo. Oh, okay. Sa Sir, sa ina nga no, evaluation da. Ah, uh, for may limited face to face na kami. May limited face to face na kami. Oo. Uh -oh. Sir Shal, bye! Sir Sal, this is my class. Bye. May klase na ako. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, bye! Bye!
for H, for H, for H, come.